Located along the banks of the Arkansas River, Little Rock is the largest city in Arkansas. A thriving community with access to a wide array of culture, entertainment, and recreation, along with a variety of notable landmarks. About 70% of the city's 202,000 residents are served by the Adams Field Water Reclamation Plant, one of three facilities operated by the Little Rock Water Reclamation Authority. In 2021, the authority completed an extensive capital improvement project to resolve the problem of sanitary sewer overflows while increasing treatment performance and improving effluent quality. The initial program started out with a, an assessment and evaluation of our collection system. We engaged in several consulting firms that went through and looked at where we were seeing larger sources of I&I &I and where we could tighten up our collection system. We did an evaluation of that and hydraulic modeling of our treatment facilities where we could add capacity at our treatment facilities during wet weather events. Previously, the authority had considered expanding their collection system storage at the Adams Field facility, but in order to achieve their wet weather resiliency goals, their storage capacity would have had to increase from 14 million to 33 million gallons. We like the concept of treatment versus storage. With treatment, we're able to treat the stormwater that enters into our system while the storm is ongoing. Storage causes us to extend the storm. If you have back-to-back -back storms, you can't prepare for it. So treatment during the storm versus treating after the storm certainly gave us a large advantage in being prepared for the next storm event. Well, after that decision was made to do wet weather treatment, we started in a workshop with everybody on the team and looked at dozens of technologies in three major categories. There were settling-based technologies, there were filter-based technologies, and there were flotation-based technologies. And out of that workshop, we narrowed it down to the top five um, that were most feasible for this particular site, and one is the AquaStorm that we're talking about today. AquaStorm is a cloth media filtration system designed for economical and efficient treatment of wet weather applications. This system, which doesn't require chemicals, provides auxiliary treatment of the peak flow stream during wet weather as well as tertiary polishing of the secondary effluent. Before implementing the system at the Adams Field facility, the authority conducted pilot testing to compare the AquaStorm pile cloth media filter with other high-rate filtration technologies. As far as just the scientific or engineering results, really we focus in on solids removal, so the low TSS effluent, and beyond that is really how well does that effluent disinfect. So we went a step further and looked at UV disinfection and um, paracetic acid disinfection and we're really impressed with the low doses of disinfection required in both cases. Once the decision was made to implement AquaStorm filtration, the authority was able to negotiate the first permit in the state that recognized dual-use filtration as an acceptable treatment method. Arkansas is in the convergence of both the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals as well as EPA Region 6. Both areas actually encourage uh, or, or promote wet weather treatment. So we saw that as an opportunity to visit with our state regulators. Uh, we had several meetings, very, very you know, cooperative and very productive meetings, which allowed us to define the language for permitting in a wet weather alternative treatment scheme. Our permits were really geared around just that, uh, parallel treatment in wet weather. This permit modification allowed the peak discharge of the Adams Field facility to increase from 72 million gallons a day to 94 million, while reducing the required equalization storage volume by 34 million gallons. In addition to realizing an immediate savings of more than $10 million, the authority is seeing outstanding results in terms of water quality, maintenance costs, and system reliability and efficiency. Well, the aqua filters have performed in these wet weather events tremendously for us. We went from always dreading rain events to not really caring about them that much now because it's ease of operation for us. In March we had an event in which we brought in 86 million. We peaked at 101 million gallons a day coming through here. We wound up with a TSS of 7.9. Fecal was extremely low and those are things that we've always struggled with and which we don't struggle with now. 
the old UV system would run near 100% all the time, even in dry weather flow. Now we're, we're able to run around 50% of power consumption or power into the UV system. So we're seeing a significant savings in power consumption. Our resources don't have to spend time before and after an event cleaning the UV. A lot of the filtration process is taken out, the slime buildup, or a, a lot of the clogging that you see around UV. We have indefinite throughput at the plant. This takes pressure off of the collection system where we're trying to mitigate wet weather overflows. We've been able to process wet weather flows, meet permit, and reduce the pressure on our collection system, which we've never experienced that before. It not only helped us gain that extra wet weather capacity, but it also allowed us to operate the treatment plant with our daily flows in a polishing mode. A lot of times we're looking at efficiencies and removal efficiencies of always water treatment plants. And, and while we've been very proud of, of what we've done historically, the numbers that we're able to get off of that system in a tertiary mode, uh, especially low single digits, really uh, uh, speaks well to, to our dedication and, and what we hope to do in, in preserving this, this vital resource. What we're looking into and we're actively pursuing with the Clinton National Airport is a water reuse capabilities that we would have never experienced before without the aqua aerobic system. It produces a water quality that allows us to do that with just a little bit more disinfection and then we can use it for water reuse and uh, we're really excited about that and so are our regulators in terms of uh, being able to produce this and provide this for our customers. So I really appreciated just the um, collaborative nature that, that Aqua brought to the project. You know, really working closely with both engineers, um, the ultimate owner and operator, and, and also the, the contractor along the way, um, really to make the entire project a success. That's what I, I thought was really good about this project was just the collaborative nature of everyone involved.